Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today we are going to go through this week's Forzathon called Studs and Spark Plugs which wants you to use either the 2018 Bugatti Chiron or the 2019 Lego Speed Champions Bugatti Chiron. So you can use either or. Now for this one I'm going to use the normal Bugatti Chiron um, but like I said you can use whichever one you want it doesn't really matter they both tune to the same. Uh, so obviously 2.4 million for the normal Chiron, but I'm sure a lot of you guys have it. Now, if you have the LEGO Speed Champions pack but don't have the LEGO Bugatti Chiron, uh, in order to get it, you have to go over to the LEGO uh, Horizon Valley. Uh, as soon as you enter there, it will pop up saying you need to complete a race in the LEGO Bugatti Chiron, uh, win that race, and then you win the, uh, the LEGO Bugatti Chiron. But like I said, I'm using the normal one. Uh, I've created a tune for it called 217 <clears throat> mile per hour. Uh, obviously, pretty self explanatory there, uh, which will come in handy for this first challenge here which wants you to basically hit the Chiron's top speed of 261 mile an hour in either the Lego or the normal Chiron now like I said I'm using the normal one uh, and the best place is to go uh, wherever there's a long straight run uh, which obviously I chose the freeway uh, as it's probably the best option now I'd recommend doing this sort of online as well as there's less AI traffic to get in your way um, but it's a pretty simple challenge uh, and obviously because I've tuned it you don't necessarily have to go all the way up to 270 mile an hour but it makes it a bit quicker and easier for the car to get to 261 mile an hour which is obviously the, the sort of target for this first event here uh, and like I said it's actually very easy on the motorway so there you can see already past 261 mile an hour um, the bends do slow you down but if you sort of take them uh, not sharp or anything just gently uh, you'll keep your speed up anyway but a nice easy first challenge there now the second challenge wants you to earn three stars on the Strathbridge uh, speed zone so when you filter your speed zones, if you look up by the rail yard uh, in Glen Rannock, you've got the Strathbridge speed zone. Uh, and three stars on this, all you need to do is get 135 mile an hour. Um, and I recommend starting off from the left hand side, as you can see here, where the little arrow of the car is pointing. Uh, the reason being is you can get a much higher top speed sort of entry into the speed zone and keep that going. So then when you have to brake for the corners, there's about three corners, uh, it means your speed's sort of still high enough uh, to keep you going obviously you'll be below 130 mile an hour around a lot of the bends uh, so this first run I got just over the target for three stars but I'll show you a second run uh, as you can see here just to obviously show you guys that it is definitely doable uh, and if you are struggling just remember to get as much speed as possible uh, into the entry of it and keep your speed up up until the first bend uh, where obviously you want to sort of just skim the bridge or hit it there um, but anyway <laughs> you can just go around the last bend as well at max throttle um, and you'll get it so there you can see it's a little bit over the three stars uh, it's a nice fairly easy challenge there uh, now the last one just wants you to win four road race series events now this can be a circuit race or a sprint race it really does not matter um, but as per usual I've obviously got a race ready for you guys to use so if you go over to the Lakehurst Forest Sprint Race um, and then go under blueprints uh, you can type in the code my share code for one of the create races I've created which is 0.1 mile long so it will literally take you nine seconds per race uh, the share code for that is 20 Eight six seven two two eight two, um, and if you type that in, obviously it will come up with said race. And then all you have to do is win it four times. So as per usual, I send the AI off on a little tangent, a slight detour, so you can just breeze past in there. Um, like I said, it takes about nine seconds each race, so the loading times are longer than the actual race itself. So this last challenge is nice and easy, and you can do it on whatever difficulty you want. You know, it's not a festival playlist event, it's just a Forza Thumb one. So you can have it on amateur or expert, it's entirely down to yourself. Um, whatever you choose, but it's a nice and easy one there. Just win that four times and there you go, Bob's Your Uncle challenge is complete. But apart from that guys, I hope this video did help you out. Uh, if you are struggling with any of the challenges, please say so in the comments down below and I will try my best to get back to you and help you out as best as I can. Apart from that guys, a massive thank you for all your support. All the best. Good luck with this week's Forzathon and thank you very much. Take care guys.